afternoon and welcome to today's collective worship. Today our theme is giving. We'll be looking at what giving is, the merits of giving, and then looking at a biblical example from the Gospel of St. Luke. A teacher of the law came up and tried to trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, what do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbour as you love yourself. You are right, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But the teacher of the law wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbour? Jesus answered, There was once a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him and beat him up, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest was going down the road, but when he saw the man, he walked on by the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there, went over and looked at the man, and then walked on by the other side. But a Samaritan who was travelling that way came up onto the man, and when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him into an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, in your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbour towards the man attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, the one who was kind to him. Jesus replied, you go then and do the same. We've just heard the parable of the Good Samaritan, where a priest and a Levite walked past an injured man, but the Samaritan was generous, giving not only his money, but his time. The Samaritan was not obliged to help, but did so out of kindness and love. We are called to help in whatever way possible, whether you lend a listening ear or hold a door open for someone. On a piece of paper in front of you, trace around your hand and cut it out on the paper. In the center, I'd like you to write one way you could help someone out. Maybe that's cleaning something up at home or sharing a smile. This can then be displayed in your classroom's prayer corner. Thank you for joining our collective worship today. This week at home, at school and elsewhere, let's make a conscious effort to be more giving this Lent, using the hands displayed in your form as a reminder. Good luck and God bless. <laughs>